Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guy Wayne, and today I want to show you some of my favorite tips and tricks and hidden features on the Moto G 5G. Uh, in the description, I will have all the tips and tricks laid out, and I'll have them timestamped. So if you'd like to jump around or come back to this video later to learn more, um, you can always go right to the description and see the full list of tips and tricks and jump right back to certain sections if you need to reference them for later. So make sure you bookmark the video or save it to your playlist so you can find it later if you have questions in the future. Let's jump right in. The first tip I want to show you is simply how to run two apps at one time. That's right, how do we multitask? How do I watch a video and send a text message simultaneously or browse the web while watching a video? Well, the first thing you'll need to do is decide what two apps you want to open. In this case, I want to have YouTube at the top. At the bottom, I want to have Google Chrome so I can browse the web while I'm watching YouTube videos. So I'm going to tap on the YouTube app first. I'm just going to simply open it. Then I'm going to close out this silly ad, hit the home button, and now I'm going to open up Google Chrome. So both apps are open. Let's hit the home button now. Now to the right, you'll find your recent apps button. Now you're going to tap on that. Slide to the right. Now I want YouTube to be at the top, so I want to go over to the YouTube app, tap on the YouTube icon at the top of the screen, and I want to tap on split top. Okay? Tap on split top, and now I'm going to slide over to Google Chrome, and I'm going to just tap on Google Chrome. And just that easy, I now have YouTube open at the top, and at the bottom, I have uh, Google Chrome open. So let's go into Chrome here, and I'm going to simply select a video to play. And so this video is going to play right here. Now if I tap the screen, I can tap on this little icon in the bottom right corner and make it full screen. And let's turn the volume down a bit. And now this video is playing up here, and while it's playing, I can be scrolling through um, through Google and looking up, you know, whatever, you know. Um, let's just type in like celebrity news or something. So now, guess what? I'm browsing the web and I'm watching a YouTube video. I can also take this and I can rotate the phone. Now in the upper right corner, you'll see a little rotate icon. Tap on that and that'll rotate the phone for you. And now I can continue to watch my YouTube video while I'm scrolling through um, Google and just searching the web. So you can do this with multiple apps. You can also switch the apps. So if you want this app here and this app here, you're gonna tap on this little white bar two times like this, and it will move them, you know, one to the left and one to the right. So that's how you kind of just change the orientation. And then when you're done and you don't wanna be in split screen anymore, simply um, drag this little white bar in the middle, drag it left or right. So I'm gonna drag it left, and that'll take me out of split screen and back to full screen. So that's the first way in terms of multitasking. Now the second way, um, which is a, a way I love um, to use as well, is I can have this video play, but I can shrink it down to what is called a pop-out window, and I can move it around the screen. So watch this, I'm going to, while the video is playing, I wanna hit the home button, and it's gonna shrink my video down, and now I can simply drag it and move this little window around the screen. I can also pinch to make this bigger, so if I wanted to be, you know, you know, just be able to see it better, I can just, you know, either pinch it in or, you know, pinch out, and that's how you make that window bigger or smaller. So this way you can continue to watch your video, and now guess what, I can go to my text messages, I can, Go to any app. I can go to the Play Store. I can go download a new app. You can do anything you want on your phone while that video is playing and just simply move it around to whatever is most convenient for you. So this is called pop-out video. Now, primarily works with YouTube and it will work with some of the other video apps, but it's gonna work the best with YouTube. Now, a couple of things you'll need to know about this. So um, we're back into the full screen. We're back into YouTube app. This only works if the video is playing first before you hit the home button. So right now, because the video is paused, if I hit the home button, it's not gonna go into that pop-out um, video mode, okay? The video has to be playing first, and then once it's playing, I can hit the home button, and then I can um, 
shrink it down into that little pop-out window. So that's how that works. This is another really cool way to multitask. All right. Hey, already, if those two things were helpful and you didn't know that before watching this video, take a minute and bump that like button. It helps us to share the video out to reach more people and just, you know, educate more folks on how to use their phones. Okay, let's keep going. Next, we're gonna go to the uh, settings and we're gonna uh, turn on um, a setting that's gonna allow us to see our battery percentage on the home screen. I love to know exactly how much battery I have down to the percent. Um, and to do that, we're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, tap on this settings wheel. This is your shortcut to get right to settings. Tap on battery. And then it's gonna say battery percent. Simply turn this on. And guess what? Now we're gonna be able to see exactly how much battery we have left, which just helps you to be efficient with, um, you know, knowing that if you're close to it being time to charge, um, I just love to know down to the percent how much battery I have. Now, here's the next thing. Um, guess what? Maybe you have 40% battery and that's fine. You're gonna be next to a charger soon and you'll be able to plug up and you're good to go. But what if you're gonna be out all day and your phone is on 40%? That is a nightmare. So one thing I recommend you to do is swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, swipe to the left, and turn on battery saver. Now this will, usually battery saver mode will turn on automatically when your phone gets to either 10 to 15%, but the fact that you know your battery is already like under 50% and it's gonna be a while before you get to a charger, simply turn on battery saver now and all that's gonna do is restrict some of the functions of the phone in the background, but it's gonna make sure your battery is gonna stretch longer and hopefully get you through the day. You'll notice your battery icon in the upper right corner is red and that's just telling you that that battery saver mode is on to ensure that you're good to go. All right, so from here, there's nothing else you need to do. Now guess what? If you end up getting to a charger and you want to turn this off, you're gonna just swipe down, swipe down again, swipe to your left, and then tap on battery saver again and that'll turn it off and you'll notice your battery is no longer red in the upper right corner. Now for this next tip, this is a really cool feature that uh, was recently adapted to Motorola phones and it is called the sidebar. Now you'll notice to the right there's this little uh, dash here and by tapping on the dash or by just sliding left onto the dash, it brings up these little shortcut apps and basically you can customize this to put whatever apps you want to be in this menu and once you tap on these apps, they will just pop up as uh, little pop-out apps, similar to how we had that video pop-out. So you can have this calculator just float on top of your screen and you know run some quick calculations and then simply close it after by hitting the X, or you can tap on this button to bring it into full screen. It's a really cool feature. Now guess what? Only you know what apps you use the most and that's the best way to customize this. So watch this. I'm gonna swipe left. I'm gonna tap on the settings button all the way at the bottom, and this will take us to the menu and allow us to customize exactly what apps we want to be in that shortcut menu. So obviously the what makes the most sense is find the apps that are the most uh, frequently used, just so you can get to them quicker. So, you know, I may not want my um, uh, clock here, but maybe you say, hey, I would rather have my Google Maps here because guess what, every day I'm going to different places, I wanna be able to quickly find my directions. Maybe you don't want Chrome there, but guess what, if I go to Tools, I have some other really cool things I can add aside from apps. So like you can have a shortcut to screenshot or even screen record if you're trying to record something you're doing on your phone, um, or you can just have a back to home button as well. Now the, the, the last thing you can do is if you go to Contacts, you can actually find, you know, maybe someone that you call often and you want to be able to get to their number the fastest. Guess what? I'm going to add that number. Let's add this number right here. And now if I go back and I swipe over again, now I have that, that contact here and this will take me right to that phone number and I can just dial that number really quickly. So 
Um, there's so many things you can do with this, so I encourage you play around with it and just customize it. It's just your personal uh, list of shortcut apps that are gonna help you be a little more productive and just getting to the things you use the most. So also shout out to Motorola for adding this feature because this used to be a feature that was primarily only on Samsung phones and I am so glad that they finally brought it to the Motorola devices. All right, our next tip comes in the Moto app. Now this app has so many cool things. I'm gonna to touch on just one specific feature, but you're gonna find so many cool things in this app. Now they have a section called gestures, and here um, there's all these cool things you can enable that just give you just some extra fun functionality. One of my favorites is the fla uh, fast flashlight. By holding the phone and doing the chopping motion twice, it will trigger your flashlight, so watch this. I'm gonna hold the phone like this, and I'm just gonna do a chop, and that's gonna turn on my flashlight. Chop two times, and guess what? It's off. So that's just one of uh, many um, gestures that are built in. So um, spend some time in this section, go through. You'll find some really cool options here. Um, there's some options where like if you lift the phone up, it will automatically unlock the phone. There is a uh, screenshot when you just tap the phone with three fingers like this, uh, which just took right there. So play around with that section. You'll find some really cool things. Again, I love the chopping motion. That's my favorite. Um, but there's some other cool stuff that's built in there. Now for our next tip, I wanna show you how to launch the Google Assistant. Now, it's different on this phone than it is on most phones. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to touch on this. So by simply double tapping the power button, it's gonna launch your Google Assistant. And just by tapping it twice, it will begin to listen and it's waiting for you to give it a command. I'm gonna try it again, but this time I'm gonna have a command ready. So I wanna set a timer for 10 minutes. I often use this when I'm cooking or just you know out and about and I need to remind myself of something. Watch this, I'm just gonna hit that button twice. Set a timer for 10 minutes. There you go. So just that easy, it will set that timer. And there's a bunch of other cool things you can add too. For example, what's the weather like today? There you go. And there's a bunch of cool videos on YouTube as well where you can really uh, just do a ton with Google Assistant. So, you know, if you just go on YouTube and just search like 50 things you can ask your Google Assistant, you'll find some really great ways to maximize on um, using the Assistant. I also like to use it for setting alarms. So at night, I'll you know launch the Assistant and say, hey, like set an alarm for like 5 a.m. Or, you know, um, even if in this moment, I know I have to do something at like 2.30, I'll say, hey, you'll set an alarm for 2.30. Or you can have it set calendar appointments for you as well. Um, add to my calendar a meeting with this person on 8.15 at 10 p.m. And it will, you know, add that right to your calendar and remind you when that meeting is coming up. So cool feature there. Um, but again, Google Assistant launching it is different on every phone. So definitely want to cover that. For the next tip, I want to show you the notification panel. And to get there, you swipe down from the top of the screen, but you're going to do it two times. So if I swipe once, it'll take me here. If I swipe again, it's gonna take me to this section and you'll find uh, tons of really helpful shortcuts to different functions on the phone. So um, this is the main page, but if you swipe left, you have some more options here. So for example, a shortcut for your hotspot, there is an alarm shortcut, that battery saver one we talked about earlier. There's the nightlight feature. If your phone is docked next to your bed, you can simply uh, turn on nightlight and it'll have kind of a calming light of the phone. Um, on the nightstand while it sits there. There's a cool gift maker. You can take a couple of pictures and have it put together in a gift. Swipe over again. You have a screen record option. So if, like if you're playing a game and you want to show someone your gameplay, you can always record it. You also have a QR code scanner. So if you ever see those, those QR, those square codes, uh, tapping there will basically launch the camera and allow you to scan those QRs. And then you have a uh, family space. Now this is, I'm kind of transitioning into our next uh, feature here, which is family space is a really great option for when you need to pass your phone to a little person. 
Maybe you're in the store and you're trying to focus on, hey, what do I have to get for dinner? My kid's going crazy. I'm gonna open up family space. You give it a time limit or you can set no limit, but um, with family space, let's just do 15 minutes for now. So this is a kid-friendly section of the phone where um, they can have the phone and they can play with some things, but they don't have access to call anyone, to text anyone, to see any of your pictures. It's simply just a section for kids. And um, I have this set up already, so I just selected a couple of games that I'd want them to have access to. And guess what? If I try to go home, it's not gonna let me. If I try to jump to other apps, it's not gonna let me. If I try to back out, it's not gonna let me. If I turn the phone off and I turn it back on, guess what? It's still gonna keep me in that section. So it's basically gonna lock them in that section and allow them to just play with the things that are kid friendly and not things that obviously you wouldn't want them to be playing around with. Now when you're ready to get out of it, you're simply gonna tap on this button here and um, that's gonna get you out of that section. So this is a really cool function for your parents. Now I just wanna jump back really quickly to this section here. So I showed you these couple of pages and all these other really good shortcuts. Now, if you tap on this little pencil here, this will show you the full list of options that are available. So at the top here, these are all the current switches that are enabled, but you'll find as you come down here, there's more options you can also enable. So you can have a calculator shortcut, a shortcut to your files. You can have uh, digital well-being, your live captions. There's all these other cool options that are built in. And Guess what? Maybe you want that dark theme option to be up there. You can hold down on that and drag it up. And now it's going to be on those pages. Another cool option you'll, you may want to bring up is extra dim. Hold down on that and drag it up. Now extra dim is a great um, option to enable when you're in the movies and you want to make sure your phone is turned down low, but you still want to be able to see what's happening on your screen that's a great option to enable. So anyway, guys, this brings us to the end of our video. Um, I hope you found this helpful. I tried to really dig into the phone and find some of the really fun things that are kind of not right in your face. And hopefully you found some value out of this. And you learned some new cool things you can do with your phone. If you found this video helpful or you learned anything new, take a second and bump that like button down below. This helps the video to reach more people and just to educate more folks on what they can do with this phone. Do me one other favor, go to the comment section and let me know either what was your favorite tip that I covered or what was the tip that you learned for the first time. I always love to hear things that you guys are learning so I just know how to curate the next videos that are coming. So anyway, thanks again for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.